Hello there everybody and welcome to another Sword and Shield Wi-Fi battle. Today I have for you a PU 4v4 battle against Mega Kelio. The one and only, let's go! Um, apparently this is like a cool format where he had a tournament that he won on Pokemon Showdown so it should be interesting. Um, I'm trying out the Galarian Articuno, it's actually the first time I'm gonna try him out. Uh, it's Psychic and Flying and um, I also have a Galvantula, a Berserk, and a Hitmonlee. Uh, Mega Kelio has a Charizard, Kaleido, um, Chinchino, and a Lapras. So, yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable that these Pokemon, all of them, every single one of them, is actually in the PU tier. But, I don't know. I guess Power Creeps and Smogon. Don't trust smoke on, I don't even know. Anyways, let's let's just get this battle started. Let's see how it goes. Uh, I have my lead uh, Berserker. Uh, he's gonna decide to lead with his Claydol. I'm just gonna go for the Fake Out. Um, and then just U-turn out of there, because it's super effective. And uh, basically move on from there, but... Surprisingly, Claydol is actually faster than Berserker, I guess. I have no idea. I forgot the speed of Berserker to be honest. But there you go, big damage with the U-turn. And now I'm like, okay, he's in the range of my Galarian Articuno. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try to take out his Claydol. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't prevent the Stealth Rocks, but it's fine. That's gonna ruin the Focus Sash of Galvantula, which is mighty unfortunate, but yeah what can we do what can we do anyways mega kaleo is gonna think about it and uh in the end he's actually gonna decide to keep his claydol and he's gonna send in his charizard i don't know what he was expecting for my articuno but there's the air slash and it's actually gonna do a lot of damage and uh i was like okay articuno kind of does have a decent special attack maybe i can take a hit there's the fire blast but no we are not able to take it it's a charizard how do you expect to take a hit from it? It's a damn Charizard. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna go into Hitmonlee and basically pray that this Charizard isn't Scarfed because if it's Scarfed, it basically kills everything. It legit kills everything. But Hitmonlee has a decent special defense, actually. Maybe we are gonna be able to take one hit. But there you go. I'm gonna go for Stone Edge. He's gonna switch. He's gonna go back into his Claydol. And since he does resist the Stone Edge and it's not Stab, he's gonna be able to take it. He's gonna survive with a sliver of HP, and I don't wanna, since I'm choiced, I don't wanna risk Stone Edge missing. If it misses, he could kid me off, and if I lose Hitmonlee, I pretty much lose the game. So I'm gonna go into my Galvantula, and uh, I'm gonna take the Psychic. Uh, not well whatsoever, but I'm just gonna be able to finish him off. At last, at last, we're gonna take down the Claydol. Uh, problem is, Galvantula is really low in health, and I really thought that at the range of HP I'm at, I could survive a uh, Stealth Rock switch in. So I was like, okay, no matter what happens, I'm gonna go into Berserker. If I don't survive it, I guess we could keep the Galvantula as a fodder, switch fodder. But yeah, so in comes Berserker, uh, he's gonna go for U-turn, and uh, predicted my switch, I guess. Um, and then again, I was at the range of anything really, but he's gonna go into Lapras. I'm gonna fake him out and uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna predict me to switch or do something crazy knowing Mega Keldeo So I'm gonna stay in and actually go for close combat and luckily Luckily, that's what he does, but I'm pretty sure I was gonna be able to take whatever because I do have an assault vest But he ended up going for Dragon Dance, so he was a physical Lapras That's a, that's insane, but Berserker just going for that close combat, not playing any games. Uh, in comes Charizard. I do want to keep Berserker for his um, Minchino. So I'm going to switch into uh, Galvantula as father. Turns out I just died from Stealth Rocks anyways. And he went for Roost. Oh my god. So I was like, okay, Charizard isn't Scarfed. I was like, okay, hit Molly, hit Molly, hit Molly. Please, believe. Don't miss. Don't stone miss. Stone edge. Come on. And it is stone edge. It's not stone miss. And we're able to connect. And it's going to be able to take down the Charizard. And that's a huge advantage for us. And uh, in comes Chinchino. 
And uh, no entry in Chino, he really doesn't have any fighting type, uh, any fighting uh, type attack, that's what I'm trying to say. So the switch into Berserker is really safe, and uh, if something bad happens, I can just go back into Hitmonlee and lock myself into high jump kick, and hopefully it doesn't miss. And speaking of missing, his tail slap actually missed. And uh, I don't know, maybe he has the item that makes the stuff flinch? Let's see... After he hits us five times, we don't flinch. Okay, I don't know what his item was, but close combat will finish off the Chinchino. It's gonna be the game. Good game, Mega Keldio. GG. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day. Allons-y.